Uh, the video's coming up, guys. Here we go. We've got Jim Cornette. Reviews Chris Jericho and Daniel Garcia versus Claudio and Yuta on AEW Dynamite. From 454 of Jim Cornette Experience. This video came out today. Yeah. There's no date. It just says the hour. It's 10.30. October 30th. I'm telling you, the most popular heel in wrestling history enters to a sing-along of his Stupid theme fans. music from the fans with his stooges Stupid and his baseball bat. Isn't Sting just about trademark Satan. infringement? Hadn't he been doing the bat for 20 years? Crap, now crap. Jericho's got a black bat. Where's Sting? Hate that crap. Where's Sting? Inversion. Uh, then here comes Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Useless. And Damn. the opening of the program... Is Claudio and Useless, the Blackpool <laughs> Combat Club, against Jericho and Danny Garcia from the Jericho Appreciators. And think it's about this. Let everybody guess. get this visual picture in your like mind. A wrestling much. ring in an Doesn't arena. Like I'm missing too much by not watching. One side is Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta, and the other side is Chris Jericho and Daniel Garcia. And it looked like if... If they had pro am yeah, wrestling, like they have pro am golf, called useless. Where if somebody contributes enough money to whatever the charity is, they get to play with a pro on their team. It was. <sighs> there's Jericho and there's Claudio, and then there's the two amateurs. That I'm not saying that they're even the worst. Whatever the charity is, they get to play with a pro on their team. That's great. It was. <clears throat> That's great. <laughs> there's Jericho and there's Claudio, and then there's. The two amateurs that I'm not saying that they're even the worst wrestlers in the world, but my God, visually, is yeah. this what you want to see? Grown men and little the kids. First, on, the, on the first match, opposite, you know, they're in a promotional war with this. Whatever you say about the WWE, all of their guys mostly look like athletes. Yuta looks like an ironing board wearing tights. I mean, it just... So, it, it, I, all I could, I, the match was what it was, right? And Claudio's never bad. Jericho's lost weight. He's, he's working because now he knows he's got everybody in his pocket. But now I find it fascinating that whenever they're having a tag team match and there's two guys in the ring, as there usually is legally and during any part of a tag team match, the other guy's now not only don't work the corner, but they just get out on the floor and just completely leave the ring and not even selling. At one point, when Claudio and Jericho were in, Yuta was, he right. wasn't working the corner. He was standing on the stairs, crouched down, leaning on the ring post, important. looking like he was hiding, waiting to come back in at the right spot. And then... They He's did it multiple right times. They will either somebody will roll crap. out and just obviously be on. hiding behind the apron, part, peeking up and watching when it's their time to I'm come in listen. again. They've lost the complete the fucking want, plot of this thing. And then their well, break spot, the which came eight minutes into the show, was Hager Why from the outside tripping Claudio it. while referee Aubrey Ed Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> was staring at him, doing it. They didn't even make an attempt to distract her. And she just, and then oh, they go to the Oh, good God, he's going her horse. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> this match went on. It took me a minute. Eight minutes into the show, Aubrey I've still got like time Mr. to find Ed, something else horse. that I can see almost from the start. Dang, I wouldn't have gone to break eight destroyed. minutes in the show on this fucking match. But anyway, they come back. Now Claudio and Jericho are both down, and Garcia is kneeling on the get floor outside the ring by the He's apron. I laugh my butt off. But they get a camera shot of him. He's just staring up, waiting for something else in the ring to happen. I mean, the a baby face, if you were just thrown together in a tag team, the guy that was selling back in the old days, if the goddamn, if his partner wasn't working the apron, reaching for a tag, trying to keep the people into it, the baby face that was selling would have words afterwards, like, what the fuck, I'm in there getting my ass kicked, taking bumps, and you're just fucking wandering around outside? 
you fucking moron. Mm -hmm. So, and at the same time that Garcia was kneeling on the floor by the apron staring at what was going on, don't make All looks. useless was Actually back over it. on the other side Show just it. climbing Show up the stairs from a Say bump that. that he took 45 seconds previously. And then Show them fucking using Claudio their hands just cold that. tags Yuta, All who doesn't come in the to ring make a to make a comeback. He immediately jumps up to the top rope Endless. and splashes Jericho, gets a two count, and then gets on Garcia. I always talk about the horrible fake punches that these guys are throwing from the mount these weren't even horrible fake punches these were horrible fake girl punches Dang. i mean it, he he wasn't trying to connect with anything he was swinging sideways wildly like he was a six-year-old girl having a fit about her pudding and then he got up and made some mean faces and then poor Stace, because the remodel is still going on, trying. so she doesn't have the 85-inch out in the studio anymore. So she's sitting there and just stood up and said, that was outlaw as fuck, and fucking walked out. So that was the guy's big comeback. And then he tagged Claudio back in, because that's another thing they do now. They tag the baby face to make the big comeback and go into the finish, but they forget to go in the finish, and they start tagging back and forth like the first part of the match never happened. God damn it. Uh, useless dives. The referee got distracted. Jericho came in with a bat, but as he swung, Claudio powerbombed him, and Jericho dropped the bat. So Aubrey turns around, and sees Jericho laying in the ring and sees the bat bigger than fucking Christmas laying right next to him and just stands there and does, they never, she never makes a move. Nobody makes a move to get the bat, to take the bat out of the ring or to disqualify anybody because the bat's in the ring. And then Claudio, in the only thing that made this match really worth watching, Gets Jericho in the big swing with Garcia on his back in a fireman's carry and does about ten revolutions. And then, of course, Claudio goes to the floor and levels all the stooges. And then goes back in the ring and hits a finish on Jericho. One, two, three. When have you seen that happen last time? That Jericho would get pinned one, two, three on Tellular Vision. It's all part of the plan. It's perfect. The one time that he puts somebody over, it's Claudio, he can get the title a back. guy that everybody likes, he can get the win back. and then also you. is perfect timing John Cena for Jericho style. to say, see, I'm back, and I don't lose on paper, I'm going to help in creative, and I'm going to put young guys over, and now that we've got rid of the cancer in the locker room, Young guys, that was preventing like me from being the top star in this fucking dog and pony show. Claudio, he's like 40. I'm going to be real giving for the next few weeks until people get the impression that I'm giving, and then I will slowly yep. slip back into beating the fuck out of uh -huh. everybody, including every ex That's Ring of Honor champion works. they can possibly uh, book. And you take. Do you think they're Kinda falling for this too now, aren't they? All of a sudden, the benevolent. Kind, humble, and lovable shoeshine boy, Chris Jericho, doing jobs at this particular point in time. Brian, do you see that coming down the road? Do I see what coming down the road? Uh, this, this whole Jericho company man thing at this particular point in time, right now, when he's getting everything going his way, brand new contract, creative spot. Got to make sure all the boys are on my side so that they don't realize that I've planned this all along and have instigated this to get this far. I mean, he's he's got he's got plenty of practice studying insurrections. Does Jericho? Well, certainly his family does, but it's not really an insurrection when Shut you have a clear path because you've outplayed everyone. This is what Jericho wants. Jericho did not want CM Punk there. Jericho was the first person that fake. loudly said he wanted CM Punk fired. It's not even Made real. a lot of sense. Physically Chris Jericho's to do that. booking has been atrocious for a long time, and now it's going to be total nonstop at. Jericho. And Unless you were allowed to, came out it's called CIA. Media deal. It's CIA. Be babyface immediately. Oh, it's a joke. 
Like anybody who had been in the wrestling business for 20 years would count. know that the exact thing that you don't do Excuse with a generational angry, talent like MJF is change him up. I only brought it up because they did. I'm trying to turn my brain off. the off. exact thing that you don't do That's with a generational problem, talent like MJF is change him up. That's why they like him, because they've liked what he's been. But if he can take the edge off MJF and diminish his popularity, then he's got rid of the veteran, and now he's minimalized the up-and-coming prospect, and as I mentioned earlier in the program, Danielson and Moxley are too busy being nice to everybody and wanting everybody to like them and doing their the uh, their own version of the wrestling they like. Danielson's we do like, and Moxley's we can't stand. Every time Yuta does anything, I just expect him to go, this is for the Juggalos and Juggalettes. Fuck this shit! Is he... Is, oh, that's what... I was gonna say, is he one of those Juggaloos? But he looks like... <laughs> I don't agree the, with you. <laughs> he looks like superhuman. I'm gonna save you from whatever you're about to say. Well, but... Uh, well, I was gonna try to give some context, because if he, just, he looks like hard. superhuman, most normal people are gonna go, what is he talking about? There is a... Mentally challenged individual who apparently has no one in his family with a good sense to watch him or take care of him or prevent him from making bad choices what? that is famous for jumping off of shit through shit like wrestlers do and hurting himself on Twitter. And is it Darby Allen? Yeah, he does. He looks like fucking superhuman. The best part of this match Did was that it was over and we go to the the uh, waiting arms of Renee Moxley Good so that she can have a talk with Brian Danielson. And they're in the back. Danielson is frustrated about Jericho and Garcia and Yuta. He's frustrated about everybody. And then Yuta comes in and yells at Daniel Bryan. And Claudio comes in and separates him. Like, now we're going to sit down and discuss this like adults. So now the baby faces are fighting amongst themselves and if it means that Danielson will eventually turn out of this then great, I don't care how it happens but I don't have any confidence that that's what they're setting up I think the baby faces are just arguing because Tony thinks it might be swell I think that there is nothing stopping them from pushing We Were Yuta in a way that isn't reasonable and that nobody really wants, but he is their Eric Watts right now, and his promos, I told you last time, he is a Seth Rollins screech. Yeah. He talks, so it sounds bad, but where's this coming from? This fucking guy who did nothing, all of a sudden he's with them, and now he's yelling at Brian Daniels? Yeah, talking to him like a fucking field no. hand. And the fans sat on their hands for a lot of this match, and that's not a unique thing for this match or this show or wrestling right now. I mean, it's across all the promotions that are on TV that... Yelling at Brian Daniels? Yeah. Talking to him like a fucking field oh. hand. And the fans sat on their hands for a lot of this match, and that's not a unique thing for this match or this show or wrestling right now. I mean, it's across all the promotions that are on TV that you see that. But they were into Claudio. I don't know how into Yuta the fans are. It's not just us, I don't think. I think it's, again, the same... What have we determined now? Is it six or seven hundred thousand people that love the the whole elite thing and love the whole Harpo thing and love all the play wrestlers are going to love Yuta because he he's been embraced by all their favorites and everybody who wants to watch a major league wrestling program on national television is sitting there looking, what the fuck is this? All right. <laughs> 